Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Discussing the Universe with Drake and Ty. Today we'll be discussing uh, natural disasters because of, you know, the recent events going on with all the fires and yeah. the death and the more death. So, um, this wasn't originally on our little sheet of stuff we were going to talk about, but we felt like it was a very important thing to discuss. Well, it was just also... like now, specifically. Yeah, yeah, it was also a suggestion, so... It's... One person suggested it, I One think. person suggested it, but they were also the only person who suggested pretty much anything other than what's already on the list, so... Yeah. Silence. Okay. Um, okay, so we don't... At least I, I don't have a Google Doc this time. Me to, either. To go off of, we don't, so we don't we're just going to... We're, there's no structure to this. There's not, not even a semblance of anything. Yeah. So, um... I guess we can talk about um, why some of them are being caused. For instance, the what I feel oddly notable one is the gender reveal one. <laughs> why? Okay. Why? No, it's it's also I'm pretty sure there's there was two gender reveals specifically two that caused gender fires. reveals. Yeah, there was two, two of them that caused fires so far. Right. If I had a nickel for every time a gender reveal caused a forest <laughs> fire, I'd have two nickels. It's not a lot, but it's strange that it's, it's happened weird twice. That it happened twice, dude. But it's like, why? Like, you know, what's what's even the situation? Like, what happens there? You know, it's, it's like they literally like set off. They probably set off fireworks or something, no, which were either blue or pink. I thought like like they got mad or something like that and like they just started lighting what? things no. on fire no it was like the actual reveal had had pyrotechnics in it and it they weren't safe with them so it started a forest wow. fire and has killed tons of people and burned down homes i hope the child born from that probably has all this weight on his shoulders in the future knowing that his existence has caused such tragedy he, he is the antichrist not exactly existence i'd say more along the lines of his okay i guess kind of no, his yeah. existence yeah but i mean you know it's not his fault it's not on him it's his parents who for some reason were allowed to have fireworks without a license so i mean they might they still might have had a license but i don't i don't get the point on why you're using like fireworks yeah for like do a balloon like everything. everyone else <laughs> i don't understand the point of like big gender reveals it's just like wow it is a boy or girl right the, Congratulations. On that, actually yeah like um the lgbtq community was kind of like freaking out because it's not it's not gender reveal it's genital reveal and I'm like, yeah, that's correct. Yeah, I guess, you know. I guess, okay. I guess. So, but like, I, what, what are we supposed well, to do from then? The, from, the deep, from the deep-seated research I've done into this topic, based on my PhDs in uh, of everything. Gender I have, studies. I have, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> um, according, according to people... Gender and sex are two different things, and I keep on mixing up which one they are. You're gonna get uh, punched so, one day because you like you're somebody's gonna come out and like ask you. Don't, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then it's, it's like, like <laughs> they point a gun my head and it's like, what's the difference between gender and sex? Like, I don't know. It's like I don't know. Bang. <laughs> Shoulda known. Okay, but but one of them, one of them is like literally like what you physically are. And the other one is like what, like uh, uh, I guess I don't know the proper term that won't offend the masses. Um, I guess like emotionally, mentally, I guess, like on a um, deeper level, not just physical. Uh, yeah, that that's kind of like a different topic though. Like I don't know how to discuss that one. We should probably get somebody who understands it more onto the show before probably. we talk about it. We have friends who still know. Afraid, I'm still afraid that would get way too political. I'm not. I'm not politics, man. Me I'm funny, ha ha guy. Mean, like, I'm funny, ha ha. I mean, funny gender, funny gender reveal. I don't know. Goofy, ha 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 ha. Oh, by the way, I was I was just thinking of this earlier. But did you did you know? Fun little fact that I have not looked into again. I'm I'm pretty bad at this. But if I remember correctly, um, you know how like the whole color thing with like blue is the boy and pink mm -hmm. is the girl. Well, supposedly, uh, I don't remember where I heard this, but back in the day, a long time ago, the colors were swapped. Originally, the boy color was pink and the girl color was blue. Really? Like, just as, like, the stereotype. That's that interesting. Was it. Yeah, somewhere along the line, supposedly, they switched. 
and brings into question like the whole oh you can't stop stop making colors associated with genders and i'm i'm i for one i don't care too much if 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 if, if a if like oh it's blue so it's a boy it's like it's 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 a cultural thing really are you just saying Pretty that much, oh we yeah. can't have cultural things cuz it offends me personally yeah. like are, are are we suddenly going to decide that like what's what's some other i don't know weird tradition in a different country uh japan we have different colored uh, we have kimonos and yukatas which are um based on gender like if you're a dude you wear a yukata and if you're a woman you wear a kimono it it'd be like you you can't wear that you have to wear anything you can't you can't define gender Wait. like that but it's it's weird it's only for gender though I don't think there's like most maybe like race but there's not a lot of other subjects where like people people get really touchy about it. Hang on, I might actually be wrong on that. Oh my god, Je- just just a tie. Are 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 you disrespecting? Your culture tie? Oh my god. Literally, okay, it's not like I oh, study I, it every day, okay? I don't no, live I there. I, I mean, I'm, I'm not so sure. I, I haven't seen you in a long while, and by that I mean I didn't see you since yesterday. Since yesterday, yeah. When yeah, it's, you, could have, you could have moved to Japan. I could have, I could have moved to Japan I real can't. quick. How do I know I can trust you? Yeah, I, I guess you can't. Wow, I never really thought about that before. You've caught me, yeah. I guess. Yeah. We were talking about natural disasters, right? We were talking okay, about yeah. natural disasters, uh, and then we got into gender reveal there was, parties. There was, and a, like there, was a, there was a 4.0 earthquake a couple days ago where we live. 4.32, um, actually? How dare you get it wrong? Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. Keep going. Keep going. I'm sorry. There was a 4.0 earthquake yesterday, and um, I'll admit, due to some divine reasonings or whatever, whenever there's been like an actual earthquake, I've always been like out of state. Whenever there's been an earthquake, that that was the first or asleep. I've also always been asleep. That was like the first earthquake I've ever felt in my life, besides like aftershocks. Hmm. I see. So it was a really weird experience. <laughs> my first like, earthquake was, experience, not clickbait. Not clickbait. Uh, I'm surprised none of the things on my shelf fell over. Everything was shaking. Yeah. yeah. It's like if I if I if I breathe a slightly different like. <laughs> at a slightly different time in my room, I feel like my Lego minifigures are gonna fall over. But no, the earthquake—they stand straight up. It's fine. They're fine. But if I like tap, if I tap the wood, um, right? Don't thing, tap it. Fall no. over. We hear a crash from your mic. It's just like, oh. Oh no! Okay. They all die. Speaking of divine earthquake matters, yeah. literally every time I've felt an earthquake, I am in the bathroom. I, really? Literally. The same thing happened to Japan. All right, I was, I was just in the bathroom, and then all of a sudden, this earthquake happened, and the floor moves down an inch, and I'm just like, <laughs> "Huh." And then also Japan, same bathroom, <laughs> <laughs> like like a different year entirely, <laughs> and like same thing happens. So I'm just like, "Hmm." And then, okay, so have you looked into getting an exorcist to, to like? Here, the no, bathroom. It's fine. Of demons. No, no, because then finally, of course, a few days ago when the earthquake happened, I was in my bathroom back here. It's, so it's <laughs> following you. We need to get you yeah. exercised. Ex- yeah. Exorcised. Exor- ex- exorcism. exorcism. Nah, I'm fine. I don't need to be exorcised. I'm not cursed. Not do you think all. that with without the without the without the movie The Exorcist, do you think the term exorcism would have just been like eventually like went extinct? Like I, people just wouldn't say it anymore. Because I don't think I hear a lot of people saying it that much. And without the movie, I don't. I'm not too sure it would be like an actual phrase people commonly use. Yeah, it's not even that's, that that's true. Actually, I mean, like I don't really hear people say "exercise the demon" every day. Yeah, mostly, mostly what, what, I stay what, other, what other things have like caused a phrase or something to become super popular? Back to the future. Like, I mean, that, I mean, like a thing that was said previously, hmm. and like it probably would have gone gone out of style or like out of the culture if it weren't like existing. Uh, I can't uh, off the top of my head. I can't think of anything. Lion but. King and Hakuna Matata. You're right. I mean, I don't know. I don't know if any of the 
any of the African people are still, they probably are still saying that. Maybe. I, I mean, I don't know. They're also all dying, so that's beside that's besides the point. Back to natural disasters. Back to natural. Um, what else has happened recently? Ah, oh, yes, we were talking about the gender reveal that caused the fire. Yeah. But we didn't start the fire. It was always burning. We didn't the world light it. Burning. It was. We didn't light it, but we tried to fight it. We tried to fight. I did not try to fight it. I'll admit, I, I, I did not go. Personally, I didn't yeah. go fight flames. It takes an but, intense bravery to do that. It's all. It's all. I've always found it interesting how like forest fires are supposedly they're, they're healthy or whatever. And if well, they burn, they burn tree. No, I, I know that it provides forest a restart. Fire, na- yeah, it provides like a. It burns down like trees that were like previously blocking anything else from growing because they would collect all the sunlight because they're greedy, stupid trees. But um, so I'm just thinking, uh, if this if this single gender reveal fire just imploded the entire state, uh then why has that, like, never happened before? I suppose it's global warming. But, like, what stops forest fires naturally, then? How Shouldn't they just keep going, like, forever? No, eventually eventually they just run out of fuel or they block get blocked by, like, a river or something. Mm-hmm. And, like, the wind just happens to not carry any of the fire over, and so it just stops. So you're saying it's all luck-based? Uh... So, you're saying, so you're saying theoretically... A single match could light the whole world on fire. In a very, 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 very hypothetical situation, yes. Imagine imagine back when it was like all Pangea, one fire started and just suddenly the everything went extinct. Uh yeah. <laughs> Wouldn't that be weird? T- tie, tie, no, wait, are you don't alter the timeline. No. <laughs> tie. <laughs> Wouldn't that be weird? Wouldn't that be Ty, why funky is everything Friday? disappearing, Ty? No! Okay, fine, it's back. Oh, cool. Oh, wow. Wow, I'm physical again. That's so cool. Yeah. Wow. Fire, fire as like a... Mat- I know it's like plasma or whatever, but it's just so weird to think that, like, when I look at it, my brain just still doesn't understand exactly what it is. It's like, it's not, it's not a solid liquid or gas. It's just kind of there, and it's not made out of a material. Or anything. It's just existing. It's like it's not an element. It just is there. It's That's... not made of cells. It's just kind of yeah. It's interesting made to think out of about. it's made pure out of itself. Energy. Yeah. Yep. It just needs to burn to live. That's why there have been several movies about living fire. It's, even made out, it's not even made out of atoms, is it? It no, it's it, just it, pure it energy, is. Right? It, it is. No, it's just pure energy, right? No, but, well, okay. What what makes it up is made is made of atoms. Like what's what well, it's then how burning. does it stay? How it's, does it stay like, in its form? It's like if, ele- if it was if it was a if um. Okay, okay. Think of it like um like the electrons are like being shot off, like that's like you know, and then the protons yeah, are flying away and junk. Be a gas. So you're saying fire's a gas? Fire? We don't know what why is, fire why is. is. It fire? Why is it fire is like a liquid. No, it's, it's a like gas. A it's plasma. a solid. It, we don't know what fire the only, is. Plasma's only purpose is so that smart people can be. Actually, there's four. Actually, there's four. Dude, matter. I was that kid. I was that kid. Dude. I, I know. I was too. And then the 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 super high intelligent person is gonna be like, actually, there's like a fifth or something i don't even know what it's called boron matter or something like that it's something like that yeah Yeah, please that's not a real thing i don't think so. okay thank you okay if you were right about that i was gonna be like ty stop (laughs) yeah don't search it up don't search it up don't okay i was talking oh yes fire fire's not being a thing okay so also uh, um fire I'm not I'm not the biggest fan of like fires and stuff because when I was God dang it it's a real thing. It's not like what a is? Sta- it's not a state of matter but it's like it's it's this um cluster of hexagonal I think it's hexagonal? crystals. Hexagonal. So you just randomly off the top of your head had this in your memory some random my, crystal Yeah, my subconscious must have thought about it. What well, what does that even mean, bro? Okay, whatever. What I was talking about something. Oh, uh, yes. When I was like three years old or whatever, maybe older a tiny bit, um, I was at my grandparents' house up in like Wyoming. Backstory time. Uh, come on. Come on, dying. Um, 
and then we they had they had a camp they had a campfire out and uh it was uh i i knew i knew what fire was obviously i'm not stupid i'm not a stupid child <laughs> i was like okay i can't touch it because it would hurt a lot so i didn't touch it but the problem is is that uh the fire the it was it was still kind of daytime really like the sun was setting but it was still relatively bright out okay uh and the fire the fire had gone completely out Okay. Except for like the coals at the bottom that were barely visible, so I just I ran over that fire and the first the first step first step I was barefoot I put my foot on the fire I lifted up the foot because I was like ouch that hurts and then stepped my other foot on the fire so I got third degree burns on both my feet and I had I had to get them scraped off what by a doctor no uh, yeah um dude come on. <laughs> yeah, and they they were like they were like, I'm I'm sorry if this is too much information, but they were like black bubbles on the bottom of my feet. That like is boils. gross, dude. I had to get them scraped off so they could actually like heal. How do just you... from dead skin. I didn't feel anything because it's dead skin, so right. they just scraped off. But like, how but... do you how do you do that? It's like, oh, oh, this hurts. Let me step. I in went the exact free. Same place. I went free. <laughs> How does any creature's mind think? Ooh, this hurt. Let me put my other foot in it. No, no. I stepped on it. I lift. I lift. I jumped up off that one leg to grab it to hold it, and I put that put my <laughs> other foot down by like <laughs> reflex. And so now, now I've always been not a big fan of like campfires i mean I'm, I'm i'm much better now but like i won't get too close I'm gonna like I, I won't go in i won't like stick my hand in it with like the log and like shake it up a bit because i'm like i'm going to get burned I'm like no you're not like i'm doing it I'm, like you're, you're clearly getting burned right now it's clear it's clearly it's clearly it's dangerous uh but it's it, it it is weird that um technically fire fire itself it's like the base of the fire that's really there the the fire going off of it is more yeah. of a just it's like an after effect an out. after so image if, He's if, too if, fast. Like, wait, if, if you like yeah if you wave your hand over like a fire or whatever your if your hand goes straight just through the flame without getting too close to the base you won't feel anything it'll just go like right your hand will okay, just well, go right don't through the don't do that don't don't, don't, do, do, don't that. do that for like i don't know like kitchen stove because that's a like really small fire and if you touch it you'll get burned I'm well, talking no, about like don't, don't do it with any fire. Don't don't stick your hand in fire. No, no, but like there is a radius you can get close to. Well, yeah, obviously have, have that's had, that's how people stay warm. Before. But like, yeah, that's how people stay warm in a campfire. But don't like go stick your in, hand. Don't stick really your hand into the orange part of the fire. No, that's not what. I, that's not what I'm saying. You're oh, saying you're a fool. no. You're, you're saying a fool. you're oh, saying you're you can <laughs> stick your hand above the fire, right? You can. Yeah. Okay, don't Have touch the before? fire is what I'm saying. Have you tried it before? No, of course not. Yeah, but how do you know? Because fire hurts, dude. How do you, how do you know that? How do you know the blue fire is not cold? Uh, because I've read it with a thermal <laughs> laser and it says above 300 degrees. Thermal lasers are untrustworthy. I I think they use. You know what? I do trust my brain. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Send signals. You know what my brain also did? Stuck my second foot in the fire by reflex. <laughs> Don't touch very fire, unaccurate. kids. Don't touch fire. Especially invisible hot coals at like the bottom of the campfire after it's yeah. all been put out. Did your family like put water on it? Like, did they? At least yeah. Cool? Okay. They, no, it was like a whole family gathering. Like everyone was there. <laughs> so they tried and at they, least. No, no, they saw me step on it. <laughs> They, they were all sitting down around the campfire, and I just walked over it. <laughs> How do you do that? It was around. It was around the Fourth of July, actually. So I had to be in a. I had to be in a stroller for the rest of the trip. Dang! What if that was your real plan? Because <laughs> you didn't want to. No. <sighs> oh, God. Uh. I've only burned myself once, and it wasn't even on fire. It was just on my metal hot really? pot. Yeah. No. Cause yeah, you've heard this one, but like literally, like my mom, we were having shabu shabu that night, and my mom was like, "Hey, come, like you know, wash the thing," but I already plugged it in, and so it was already like hot, and so I picked yeah. it up, and then then it burned oh. to the t- tips of my fingers. What well, wasn't fun. 
Moral of the story, please check to see if your Shabu Shabu <laughs> hot pot is on before you pick up the iron part. Um, so, quick, quick little question here. Quick little question here. How, how many, how many, what's your most significant injury, you'd say? My most significant injury? Yes. Uh, I haven't really sustained many injuries. Oh no, same. The biggest one was the whole fire thing that I just yeah, talked about. Pretty much the same here as me burning my two fingertips. Really? That's it? That was the most significant thing ever? Okay, well, okay, okay. I can talk about another one, I guess, where I basically took a bee sting to the back of my left knee. Um, and you that like a beating or a bee sting? What does that bee, mean? Bee sting, like a bee, oh, yeah. like a bee stung me, right, like on the right behind, like. Oh, the I combined the words. I I, yeah. heard, I thought you were like beast ing, and I was like, what is what does that bee mean? Sting. What? Gross. I got, I got a bee sting in the. I was like, did you mean beating? Who beat you to death? <laughs> well, I hope not to death. That'd be a very awkward situation right now. But just, no, just no, come no. back to life. Oh yeah, you're right. Maybe I should do that. <laughs> uh, but yeah, basically it was like the, what was it like? Maybe the sixth grade? No, not sixth, like fifth grade. And, and basically we were playing sharks and minnows out on the field. Yeah. Personal favorite game. And sharks I, and minnows. Really? I liked it. Okay. Not dodgeball. Well, of or course I like the flag. Do- what are you a fool? Oh my God. Jackson knows is good, but what are you, a fool? I am a heretic. Anyway, basically, I felt this sharp pain behind my knee, and I'm just like, "Mm, that hurt. Guess I'll keep running. (laughs) And what? So you blame you blame me for putting my second foot on the campfire, but you get stung in the back of the knee, and you just keep going. No, it was like a little prick. Like I didn't I didn't know what it was since I'd never been stung by a bee before. And and so I'm just like, "Mm, ow, that was weird. Maybe it's like a cramp or something. And so she blows the whistle, and I just can't move my leg. And I'm just, and I just fall over because I'm like, oh, oh, that's awkward. And then I get tagged, which is just insult to injury. Come on. Yeah, because I'm just like, oh, I didn't even try. Ah. And so I had like two of my friends, and I they helped hobble me over to the nurses, and I kind of just sat there, and I'm like, oh, that was a bee stinger. Ow. And that's why I think I might be allergic to bees. Really? Yeah. Well, I mean, These if, if it shuts are kind down of a really your leg, ineffectual design because they like die or whatever. How about yeah, they just don't die? It, right. it it literally it literally tears out their intestine. Yeah, it's that's why they die. Cool. It's connected to it, and it just tears it out. Maybe someone hated bees, so they genetically engineered them so that they would die. It's, it's if just they a, it's a long con. Someone back, someone back in the freaking um, <laughs> pioneer, age. not pioneer, uh, pilgrim days. We're like, hey, hey guys, this bee stung me. It hurt a lot. I'm going to selectively breed them. I'm going to selectively breed these stupid ones that tear out their own intestine. And they just replace <laughs> the entire bee population. They played, the, they played the long the long con. An outstanding move by that pilgrim. All right. Oh, the most... Um, you, yeah, I, go. I haven't, I haven't done many injuries. The, the well, I hope second you haven't, I hope you haven't caused many. Uh, I, mean, uh, I mean, you've I, broken many girls' hearts, I'm sure. Yeah, let's 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 say that. Let's <laughs> let's go with that answer, actually. But besides besides that obvious answer, um, I have sprained many a limb. My uh, I sprained my ankle once at some friend of mine's birthday party. Because I jumped from the high part of the bounce house, like slide, and I went to mm-hmm. the bottom part. How old were you? I don't remember. Dang it. Twelve. Ha, twelve year old. Wow, I was twelve years old. Weird. That's so odd, Ty. <laughs> you just like skip that year, I bet, right? No. I'm pretty sure that's when I got stung, too. So oh, really? I, have no, I have nothing to say. At the same <laughs> instance, at the same exact what instance. What if it was like the same time? Yeah. Yeah. Like the, our fates were connected. Ew. Uh, and the other time, oh, I sprained my arm because, um, <laughs> because funny story, funny story. Funny uh, story. I hope, I hope Cooper's not watching this. Okay. So. You know he will be. 
Buddy pal, buddy pal. No, he's not going to want. We're already like 30 plus minutes in, by the way. We're not 30 minutes in. We're 30 minutes in. If you we check how long the call is going, we are 30 minutes in, yes. Wow. Um, let me just check the call. 32 minutes specifically. Um. So one time I was at his birthday party. Why? Things at birth. Wow. I just real. I didn't even connect that. I was <laughs> Most at, I was injuries at his birthday happen at birthday party. I was, I was at his birthday party. And um, uh, he he was complaining about how um, he had to set up his whole birthday party and everything, and I was just like, wow, you have to set up everything. My parents just usually do it for me, and he just like pushed me over, and he pushed me onto a specific part where like Ooh. the bricks were like a bit higher, and it just sprained my arm. Ooh. So he pushed me. He Cooper sprained my arm, and now he has to suffer for it. I mean. He's Cooper. He's suffered enough. No, no, that's no. He has not. He suffered, yes, but not enough. Okay. I see. I was gonna edit the next episode of SMP Nations on ah. on last Sunday, but I never did. I need to do that. But now I have so much homework because for some reason the teachers have decided that um, the way to do online class is to just talk for. Yeah. 80 minutes straight, and then give you three assignments each an hour long. Very fun. Yay. Haha. <laughs> I love this it's, system. It's a great uh, method of teaching. I like to call not no, teaching. No it's flaws. Actually just, it could have been an actual, just like they sent us a video. And it, feel, it feels like um some sort of like online course I'm taking. I mean, it is, but you know what I mean? Like, I sign up for it online, like, say, like a Khan Academy thing. No, and I, no, watch I totally the video understand. And I do the work. No, no, I totally understand. The Unity class I signed up for is the exact same thing. It was he made videos wow. and then we watched the videos and then did the assignment. Like I I feel no different. It's 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 just it's not a class anymore. It's just like a instructional I could have looked this up on YouTube kind of thing. Pretty much. And that's it takes away from the experience of like school. Also takes away from like learning. That's and true. my existence. Yeah. 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 It's rough. It's really rough. It's rough, buddy. Now, this segues perfectly into the the most significant natural disaster of all, which is the coronavirus, which is technically a natural disaster, unless somehow this is all a Chinese conspiracy theory where they made the, va- the virus, which I, some, a lot of people I believe. It. Um, no, no, it's the no, virus. It's they just, just suck at yeah. treating it. It's, if anything, so the we Americans apparently, should be blaming themselves because it's just, fam, wear a mask, like, dude. I'm hearing a lot. Of, I'm hearing. I'm hearing a lot of people being like, "Once this presidential election is over, what, the, the coronavirus is going to go away because it was all a trick to get people to vote." And I'm like, I, I, <laughs> no. I, I wouldn't be surprised, but at the same time, that's not what's happening. So, um, I just want to return back to my life. I. I understand maybe the people who are like, I don't know, 35 years old or something, where like, it's just like, it's not too significant part of their life and they're just kind of going with it and they're like, okay, why, why do we have to be doing this? But for me, it just kind of, it kind of sucks, bro, because this is our senior year or whatever. And it's, uh, it's it's the last year to truly be with the boys as, as, as the saying goes. It's been it's been taken from us. I remember back in was it March? I was like, oh, this is gonna be like two weeks. They said <laughs> two two week two week yeah. two week adventure in and out. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Morty, let's go in out two week adventure. Three months and later, then, yeah, it's not been three months. It's been six months. I, I, let me live this fantasy. <laughs> no, no, hold on. Is this a real life? <sighs> Is this just fan? The answer is it's real life and everything is sad. Um, how? Uh, on the I'm plus side, I'm, I'm working on this drawing and I actually drew like my hand oh, I, correctly. We never, we never announced it. Um, or well, it's not an announcement really, but this yeah. whole time Ty has been drawing. By the way, yeah, I, I'm he's just not, he's not putting his all into this. Um. Okay, I'm, no, okay. no, 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 I am putting my all into the podcast because I'm not yeah. putting my all in the drawing. I'm saving resources. But that's still not putting your all into the 
the podcast. That's putting some of it in your oh my God. drawing and almost all of it in the podcast. You're, you're a <laughs> heretic. We already mentioned this earlier yeah. in the podcast. But you are a heretic. Uh huh. No, the reason but I'm a- drawing. The reason I'm drawing is because I recently, and by recently I mean as of eleven fifty six this morning, I yeah. have finally received my cork board. Of which now I can pin ideas and things I have to do and just keep all my stuff in one place, just on my wall above my bed. What do you have on your corkboard? Well, it's not even on my wall yet, so... Oh, so... But But it's what it, are you planning to put on your corkboard? I'm I'm planning to put like storyboards and like scripts and stuff. Oh. Like, you, like you know the script for the '80s thing we're gonna do, right? Yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I, I'd put it up there basically, and I have oh, okay. and I have like stacks of papers that are like storyboards, so I'd pin those up and like work through them. Mm. This is this has all been to just help me get organized. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, because I have I'm not I'm not exactly organized either. If you could see my space right now, I have just a bunch of papers scattered everywhere. Some of it is probably really important. I will need to turn in, but yeah. um, that is a problem for future me, which I say way too much and is probably ruining my life. But that's besides the point. <laughs> Imagine it's like some you... people would say that is the point, but yeah. it's just like. You've committed crimes. Your sentence will be twenty-five years, and eh, that's for future me. <laughs> that's for future me to deal with. Yeah. I mean, it's a good way of thinking, but at the same time, no, because like it's it's a really optimistic way of thinking. It's like, well, I have to deal what I'm dealing with in the present, but at the same time, you gotta. I, I know the whole. Oh, you gotta live in the present. You, uh, so you gotta do it. Uh, but like, you still have to have some sort of semblance of awareness of what's gonna happen in your future. You see, me, who has no idea what's going to happen within the next 10 years, uh, panicking emotionally, uh, I could have probably, you know, prepared a bit more. But I feel like when people would always ask, like, oh, what do you want to do in the future? I'm like, I don't know. And they're like, okay, it's it's fine. You, you still have, like, X amount of years until it. But and X is slowly getting saying that decreasing. every single year yeah. until now it's one year left. Yeah, eventually somebody's just going to be like, what do you want to do in the future? And you're going to be like, I don't know. And then they're just going to grab, going grab to you and it's like, what are you going to do? Uh, how long have we been talking for? Let me check. my. Let me the see thing. the recording time. I currently have 34 minutes on the dot. Uh, according, well, the call has been going for 39 minutes, but... Okay, I guess. We probably start to wrap this up. Maybe. Uh, this probably. was this was supposed to be about natural disasters. We we covered fires, earthquakes. No, we uh, we covered a lot. I think. Okay. Yeah, I guess we did. Yeah, no, it's just it's just we did it so well because we're just so efficient and cool. Obviously. It's almost like you should you should subscribe to the channel and Whoa. leave a like on the video. That's incredible. I never realized that that's what they should do. Uh. Also, to, to suggest things for future topics, you can put them in the comments or follow my Instagram in the description below uh, to vote on topics for the future or maybe even be a guest star. Hmm? Ooh. Well, that is true. If you have wonderful ideas, like we're totally down to let people on. So we speak over Discord, but I guess we could use Skype if absolutely necessary. I... I mean, most people have Discord nowadays because of the whole situation we're in. So, how long do you think we're going to do this podcast for, bro? Well, I mean, we have a li- we have like a large list, so definitely a while. And I don't yeah. mind. I like I like doing I'll, this. I'll just see. I'll just see. We'll see how long we can do this for. <laughs> just keep going until eventually you can't. Keep going. Episode one hundred. When we'll see. Um, Dude, do you have anything 100. else? You want to? Do you want to say? Uh, no. I'm, I'm like okay. Uh, you could follow my Instagram. The piece I'm drawing at this very moment will be on there. Uh, I guess by the end of when this pod, like at least by the time this podcast is up, oh, since yeah, I want definitely. to get it done. Since today is Wednesday and I have two days to work on it. So. It is Wednesday, my dudes. What? What? Schedule tie. What do we do? We were supposed to record yesterday, but then we didn't. Because we. We were busy yesterday. You're right. Yeah. We had to do things. Um, 
So this has been Discussing the Universe with Drake. And Ty. And I hope you have a wonderful day. Peace out. See you all next time.